this is Drew from St. Louis who asks, do you visit Lil Wayne once a week? Do I detect, Drew, a hint of sarcasm in your question? Huh. No, Drew, Ernestine and I drive out to visit our man Wayne, I don't know, maybe four or five times a year. We always go on a Saturday, hoping the LA traffic will be just a little bit lighter, and it never is, as we take the 405 freeway from West LA, where we live, up over the hill and down into the San Fernando Valley, and out the 101 toward Thousand Oaks, where I used to attend many Dallas Cowboy training camps. I loved it out in Thousand Oaks. I could live out in Thousand Oaks. It's just too far from here at Fox. Ernestine and I always have a great time, a memorable time at Wayne's. Yet not once have we eaten a single bite there. These visits are not about eating or drinking. They're just about talking, about delving about conversating, about feeding off each other's psyches and stream of consciousness. Now, there are bursts of sports talk between me and Wayne. Ernestine's not a huge sports fan, but she gets it and she can talk it when necessary. But there aren't a lot of these bursts. The connection here is My wife, Ernestine, and I are endlessly fascinated by Wayne's gift for recording and performing. Just as I believe he is unquenchably intrigued by behind the scenes at Undisputed. Other than Ernestine, I don't know anybody, any human who watches more Undisputed, and for that matter, more FS1, than Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. does. I'm pretty sure he never misses an undisputed. 